execute migration program. Seed migration complete. Galaxy scanning. Technological activity, no. Threat level, no. Evaluation result, replication procedure allowed. Defensive unit assembling complete. Assembly complete. Unknown technological activity detected. Threat level. Assessment in progress. Unknown flying object detected. Scanning. Establishing database channel protocol. Connection error. Comparing local data. Characterization. Classified as Mecca. Suspected presence of center brain connection. Identification process started. Error. Process skipped. Threat level 1. Adding to watch list. Warning. Mecha energy level is increasing. Warning. Mecha energy level is increasing. Mecha dangerous activity. Building Dyson Sphere. Threat level 5. This Mecha is extremely threatening to our hive. Warning. Warning. Threat level assessment. Max. Initiating destruction program. Warning. Warning. Initiating destruction program. Initiating destruction program.
Hey everyone, Dyson Spear Program producer Zhou Xin here. In the future major update, Rise of the Dark Fall will introduce the brand new combat system, taking Dyson Spear Program in a completely new direction. The Dark Fall is a hostile force with powerful self replication capabilities, expanding widely across planetary systems and ultimately trying to devour the entire universe. Combat is not the only new addition, however. The Dark Fall also brings a new balance system to the game. Threatnet. Icarus does not initially pose a threat to the Dark Fall, but over time, the Dark Fall will begin to see Icarus as a threat as the player production activity expands to larger scale construction and power generation. Attacking the Hive will significantly increase the threat level. Once they reach a certain threshold, the Dark Folk will begin to attack Icarus. The threat level also influences the difficulty of each battle. Players can change the dynamic difficulty of fighting the Dark Folk by intervening in the threat level. For example, to get some respite, from being chased by the enemy's expansion. Players can also choose the battle difficulty when they start a new game, as well as enabling peace mode, where the Dark Fall will leave you alone unless you launch an attack. You can also completely disable the battle mode should you choose, allowing you to focus on build management. Our team is currently tweaking the behavior patterns of Dark Fall. We want enemies to move in interesting ways, something cooler than usual. Soldier models for the Dark Fall are also currently a work in progress, as well as animations, VFX calibrations, destroy building wrecks, polishing of combat details, and so much more being worked on as we speak. Because of this abundance of new content, the game's performance optimization will be severely tested. But you know, performance has always been our number one priority. So we needed extra time to develop and polish it to meet the high standard that our players deserve. This has forced us to make the difficult choice to postpone the launch of the update until 2023. We know many of you are looking forward to the launch of the combat system, but we really do believe it's worth the wait and we hope you can understand this decision. Not to worry though, we'll still continue to bring you other content updates while we are working on the combat system. Lesson Spear program will still be steadily tweaked and optimized, and we are looking forward to the combat system as much as you are. Finally, we'd like to thank you once more for waiting and supporting Lesson Spear program.